Welcome to another episode of Quality Time with Clive. This is a quick tutorial on how to port or map MIDI out from Scalar into another MIDI track. Why would you want to do this? Well, there's two reasons I can think of off the top of my head. Number one, Scalar has only a limited number of patches that are available, and those patches can't be altered in a way that you can get under the hood and work on the attack or the release or change the synth types or use filters and so forth and so on. Number two, let's say that you're using a performance feature and you're getting an arpeggiated feature, but you wanted to add it in. You wanted to add in stepping uh, tones or maybe change some of the notes around a little bit. This is how you would go ahead and do so. So, I have an idea here. Let's go ahead and listen to it. All right. So, this only works with a VST. It does not work with audio units. So, uh, try to use a VST-capable uh, DAW if you can. Um, here I have Scalar, and here in my Capture MIDI over here, let me just show you this really quickly. I have the monitor set to in, although you could also perhaps arm the record button here. And then from MIDI from, I'm grabbing Scalar 1 from the first track here, Scalar. And then in the secondary setting, I want to make sure that it doesn't go pre-FX uh, or post-FX. You want to select Scalar 2 down here as well. So now when I play, let me just solo these tracks right here. So we're getting the original scaler, but it's also porting the MIDI to this, and I'm running Serum here, and look, I'm even moving the pitch up an octave. So let's record that feature really quickly. Here we go. And it's an eight measure phrase, so we have to wait for the eight measures to complete. Check. Yeah, cut off there at eight. Looks lovely. Now what I can do is uh, I can turn off my original scaler and I can play the entire thing here. You can see I've put in some drums and a bass line, something very simple. Let's give it a try. And of course, now you have the MIDI that you can then alter and change the notes around and uh, maybe change part of the rhythm, change the harmony a little bit, add in passing tones, do as you see fit. So that's a very easy way of using the uh, VST porting out the MIDI to another track. Thanks, and I hope it's useful to you.